I've got my darks and my lights kind of laid out. Uh, I, you know, I got a little detail stuff here I can do, but I'm going to go and move into uh, one of my favorite things, which is and I'm going to start with a color that people normally don't associate with a shadow because it's pretty light, um, and that is opera. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, this, this is dry enough. I got a couple little puddles still on that, but it's dry enough I can paint next to it. Uh, that's the other little secret about watercolors. Uh, people go, well, how do you keep it, you know, from moving around? Uh, and as long as the paper's dry, you can paint a straight line, and even even on an angle, and um, the paint won't go past that line. Uh, as long as you you know it's dry past the line. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of. And the reason I'm using this lighter color in this shadow uh, at first uh, is because uh, there would be a little bit of reflection off of something. Uh, so even though it's in shadow, it's going to also have a little bit of light reflecting in it. Um, so that's what I'm... And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do that over here because I can't remember what the rest of that building looks like. Um, but I, I, I really like how that... Um, that looks on the, let's see, I'm going to use a little of this peacock blue. I gotta kinda get that to flow. I'm gonna stick that underneath there. Um, it was kinda all going that way. Let's see. Back to that peacock blue. <laughs> 